hands are freezing. Well, snow's coming. Snow's the man who has there. no gloves. Oh, I know I'm getting you for Christmas. Stop. I can't have a better way. To no, it's not. It's not so painful. Is it? Oh, no, mm -hmm. I guess things can be worse. Mm -hmm. You know what? what? I want to take you and the boys to Australia for Christmas. We can't. We're supposed to get married on New Year's Eve. Yes, that's the best plan you've ever had. Most women take months to plan a wedding. I have three weeks. I can't go to Australia because I have to plan a ceremony and a reception. You won't have to do a thing. What do you mean I don't have to do a thing? I hired a team of wedding planners, okay? You just tell them exactly what you want and let them sort the details. But I want it to be perfect. I want to dazzle you. I want to be the bride of your dreams. Oh, you'd be the bride of my dreams if you walked down the aisle in those cute little sweatpants that you have with your pink fuzzy little slippers. That's not a very appealing visual. Oh. Okay, well, you would be the bride of my dreams if you look the way you look when you wake up next to me in the morning. Mm. How about that one? That sounds encouraging. Really? Yes. I mean every word. But that's why I want it to be perfect. I do. You know, weddings are supposed to be a statement of who we are and what we mean to each other. You are the man that I love and I want to spend the rest of my life with and I want the whole world to know it. Yes, yeah, so you also want Sunny to know it. Absolutely. This is Part of me does want to have a big splashy wedding just to prove a point to Sonny. Sure. Which means the wedding will be all about him. No! He's been trying to break us up from the beginning. I want him to know that I have a life of my own and that what you and I have is real and forever, whether he likes it or not. Do you have to do that by staying here, though? To have the wedding I want to have, I have to be here. You said you wanted a wedding like Luke and Loris, right? Yes, I said that. Yes. They had even less time for the ceremony to prepare everything than we do. I mean, mind you, we gave them, you know, all of our preparations, but still, no one's going to remember the, the flower arrangements or, or what the bride was wearing. They're going to remember what they said to each other. You're right. It's beautiful. And beautiful is not a word I associate with my uncle, so... Okay. This is our wedding day. Okay? This is our day. You really, you really want to be a slave? All the details, you know? Make yourself crazy worrying about every little thing. We should just, you know, concentrate on each other. Even if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because the most important thing is we're going to be right here just focusing on each other. That's what's important. Well, when you put it that way... <laughs> Taking us all to Australia for Christmas. No. No. Uh, sweetie, you, you can spend, you know, an early holiday with your dad before we leave. Oh, we can't go away. Me and Morgan, we have to find Jesus. We have a Christmas pageant at church on Christmas Eve. Uh, okay, so we'll go to a Christmas Eve service in Australia. Uh, we can't, Mom. Remember? The teacher gave out parts. And he's a drummer boy, and I'm Joseph. Michael, she gives out parts every year. Next year, she'll give you a part two. Yeah, well, this year, she's looking for babies to play Jesus. And I was hoping Molly could play. You know, that's a, that's a nice idea, Michael, but Alexis has a lot going on right now. Yeah. Then we can ask Emily about Spencer. It'd be better because he's a boy. I don't really think that would be such a great idea. Mom. We cannot go to Australia. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? You guys go back upstairs, finish playing. I'm going to discuss this with Jax, and we'll figure something out. Okay. All right, all right. I'm bringing a dinosaur. Okay. Home for Christmas? Go upstairs. Okay. Okay. I'm taking Okay. Well, you know, we, we could tell Michael Morgan's teacher that we're taking him out of town for these holidays. You know, they're obviously really excited about this. I know they are. But you know what? This just goes to show you that you're right. It's always about other people and never about us. Okay, so we have really busy lives, obligations at work, and kids to take care of, right? Mm -hmm. So we can either let all the other stuff take over or we can carve out some time for us. I'm voting for us. Yeah, I agree. Okay.
And in that spirit, I propose a compromise. We fly the entire church congregation to Australia. <laughs> no. We stay here until the pageant, and then the day after, we all fly to the Bahamas. It's closer than Australia, but it's still nice and warm down there. I love that. It's a great idea. Okay. And I will handle Sonny. You don't have to worry about that. Why do we even have to? Because Sonny will not compromise. He'll do what Sonny does, and he'll make things as hard as possible. Yeah, what if we decide to go? What can he possibly do about it? He can tell us that we can't take the boys with us, but you know he's not going to get his way, because you and I and the boys, we're becoming a family, and there's nothing Sonny can do about it. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Hey. Uh, guess what? What? It's, um, well, Michael and Morgan are in a church pageant on Christmas Eve, and Michael is going to be Joseph, and Morgan is going to be the little drummer boy. <laughs> Great, I'll be there. It'd be nice if you could come over uh, after and hang, you know, the stockings, and then I'd like you to come by for Christmas dinner. I was actually thinking of having a bed here. Jax is going to be with us. Well, wouldn't he want to be with his mother and brother and, you know? No, no, see, he wants to be with the woman he's going to marry and the boys that are going to be his stepchildren. Okay, then Michael and Morgan come here for the week between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Actually, he, uh, we're going to the Bahamas. Michael and Morgan and me and Jack. Okay, then you and Jackson go ahead and uh, Michael Morgan come here. They're our children, Sonny, both of ours, and I think we need to do what's best for them. I'm trying to do what's best. We're then why are you doing this? Because I, I'm, I'm just, I just want to spend time with my children. No, you're making Christmas. this a competition. No, you're, you're trying to make Jax their father in my place. Things haven't been easy for us at all, have they? Nah. Lots of changes. It's hard sometimes, huh? Sam's not here, and Rick's not here, and Mommy looks like Benjamin Franklin. What do you think I should do anyway? You think I should wear a wig, or you think maybe I should just wait and let my hair grow back? I'll tell you one thing that isn't going to change at all, my love, and that is how much I love you. Hello. Hi. Hey, Christina. So guess what? I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Just be patient. Wait and see. <laughs> wait. You guys are supposed to wait hey, for Alex, me. Oh, yeah. no. Wait a minute. We didn't want to. Hey, Christina. How are you? One second. <laughs> you had to supposed to wait. <laughs> no, we weren't. Hi. I don't believe you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Honey, no one could ever take your place with your children. Well, Jax is sure trying. He's buying them things, taking them on a private jets, and no, on a don't boat. Don't even bring up the toys. And no, the toys. I'm just saying okay, that's don't. what he's doing. What do you want me to say? Jax loves Michael and Morgan, but he knows they only have one dad. And I wouldn't want anyone to take your place, okay? Jax is going to be Michael and Morgan's stepfather. The beach is fun, and they love it, especially since right after we get married on New Year's Eve, they're going to spend the whole time with you while we're gone on our honeymoon. Okay, well, I'll just give up spending time with my, my children as well. No, don't do that. Don't no, do no. that. Do, don't. You're going to see them on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. That's not enough. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. That's not enough. Be honest with me. Just be honest. You want me here in town so you can get me all wound up and confused about why I'm marrying Jax, okay? But it's not going to work. You can sabotage all you want, but I will still be marrying Jax. No, you won't. Not now, not on New Year's Eve, not ever. Because when you're at that altar, promising to love Jax for the rest of his life, I can guarantee you, you won't go through with it. You scared my patient out of surgery? You are a doctor. Your job is to heal people, not use them for your own private ethical dilemma. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Get in. I'm driving. No, you're not.